New York Yankee says, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankee says, let's talk about how Manny Machado and Harper have really dimmed off the radars of the Yankees. It has to do with many reasons. One reason being that they're asking for the moon and back. Another, there's a lot of options out there. For instance, when the Yankees were making that trade for a Paxton, they were going to trade for Segura as well. What does that mean? That means if the Yankees got Segura, they would have plugged them over there at second base or shortstop. So why are the Yankees even contemplating trading for a play like Segura? Why? Because he's under control till when? 2023? Something like that? And also, you have to take Hal Steinbrenner's words into consideration. He didn't like Manny Machado's comments about hustling. But really, did he? In my opinion, it was his way of saying, hey, we're just going to put this out now just in case we don't sign Manny Machado. In my honest opinion, nobody cares about his Johnny Hustle comments. That was debunked months ago or weeks ago when you saw the actual interview with Ken Rosenthal. It looked bad on paper. But for some reason, people in the Yankees organization or around it made it a point to say, hey, he's going to have to explain that or it's not going to fly with the Yankees. You think Manny Machado is not going to hustle on the Yankees in New York City? The fans would destroy him, the media, etc. Come on. He's going to be hanging out where, let's say, I hang out, where all the Dominicans are at. He'll probably eat a chimney at the chimney truck. He's not going to not hustle in New York City. We've seen him play numerous times as a Baltimore Oriole. Manny Machado, you could argue, defensively, is as great as he is offensively. Even better, you could say he's better defensively. He's just a beast with the glove. So whatever the talk is about hustling, this and that, don't you think Manny Machado's glove is, let's say, worth something? Let's say, hmm, save you some runs with his defense. And if he has that occasional slip where he's not hustling, where he's just in uh, La La Land or upset with himself, he will make it up with his glove. Period. When have you seen Manny Machado be sloppy defensively? I can't name any situation. He's been solid. And guess what? He's an Iron Man. So the talk about Manny Machado and the Yankees and how there's no talk about Manny Machado and the Yankees as of now, it is ridiculous. You came into 2019 for years now trying to sign either Harper or Machado. I mean, Yankees organization, they owe it to the fans to at least sign a Machado or Harper. And now the same is happening with Corbin. Oh, Corbin's going to ask for too much. Let's save money going after a nasty Nate or something like that. Really? 2019 was the off season or 2018 because it's still 2018 was the off season where the Yankees were projected to spend. It even came out of their mouths. So this backtracking about is not talking about Manny Machado and coming out and saying, oh, Harper is just worth too much. He's impossible to get. This is what Yankees fans feared the most. The stinginess of the Yankees organization. Okay, we could understand that you guys would prefer to stay under the luxury tax because you don't want to help other Major League Baseball teams, you know, like the Royals, all these uh, poor teams out there, supposedly. That's what you guys say, okay? But to not even create dialogue or to put out negative media about these players that were on your radar for years now is ridiculous. Let's say I was a GM or an owner of a sports franchise for five years. I would be talking about, oh, I want to sign this player. 
wait until he's a free agent. And when he's a free agent, my team, my franchise is going to have the money to not only get him, but get him and two other superstars where, let's say, I'll be willing to pay $25 million per year for. And then when that time came, uh, backtracking, oh, I'm going to have to have a meeting with this player just to say it because really I don't want to sign him because I didn't like his comments. And I'm going to say it up front because supposedly I'm going to be his future boss and this potential future employee is going to listen to me even though other sports franchises are going to offer him more money. No, he's going to sign with the Yankees because we're the Yankees. Oh, uh, no. That was a weak cop-out plea by the Yankees organization. Okay? You know damn well you're not going to sign Manny Machado. Bringing stuff like that made absolutely zero sense. And you just reconfirmed it by trying to trade for Segura of the Mariners. Okay? So, Yankees fans, I'm going to tell you this as of now. Manny Machado to the Yankees is not happening. Harper to the Yankees, mm, maybe. But in my opinion, it's not happening. The Yankees prefer to save money. And if they could trade for a player like Segura or Scooter Jeanette, that's the name that's out there now for some apparent reason, they're going to do it. But Jeanette makes absolutely zero sense because he's a free agent in 2020. So, with the obvious being stated, okay, don't give us Machado, don't give us Harper, but give us Corbin. A young lefty arm like Corbin doesn't come along that often. Especially a pitcher whose slider is really the best in the game. And really, the Yankees' problem has been obtaining that starting pitcher that's just going to be consistent, win games. And a picture that could carry your team all year round. And another problem that the Yankees have, the home run ball. Too many home runs, depending on home runs. Not hitting with runners in scoring position. Players striking out four to five times in a game. That's not entertaining. I'd rather see players hit, line drives, etc. Rather than to wait for a home run or rather see them strike out. That's really the Yankees' uh, top one or top two problems. Marcus Thames, I don't know. Marcus Thames, I don't know why they still have him as the hitting coach. I don't know. It makes absolutely zero sense. Maybe they're awarding him because he set the record for home runs. Who knows? And who cares? People are not interested, that interested in the home run ball. Maybe if a player catches fire and is on a tear. But really, realistically... As a complete team, full team, when your team sets the record for home runs, nobody cares. For an example, Aaron Judge, if he goes on a tear, hits close to 60 home runs, now that's entertaining. Joe Carlos Stanton, if he goes on a tear, hits close to 60 home runs or more, that's entertaining. But as a whole, nobody really cares because that shows people that your team relies way too much on the home run ball and other aspects to the game, like average, hits, etc., are nowhere to be found. And those aspects to baseball are quite entertaining. I'd rather have a player hit for average and hits than strike out over 200 times and have like 40 home runs. That's just my opinion. So, long story put short, go after Corbin. Patrick Corbin has to be your main priority to sign this offseason. Forget about Manny Machado for now. Forget about Harper for now. We all know the signals the Yankees are giving. They're not even going to attempt to sign them. Hey, I hope I'm wrong. But hey, I'm not a sucker either. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you believe that the Yankees are not going to sign Harper or Machado? And if you believe that they're really going to try to trade for, let's say, a player like a Scooter Jeanette or Segura or whatever, that type of player, because really they don't want to spend and they want to save money. And if you think the Yankees' time and energy is better spent going after a Patrick Corbin when it comes to free agency, 
Like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.